Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. Welcome back my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified if the most recent video is going up. Now as you guys can see here, we're going to look into what is unfolding, what's coming to you in the next coming weeks, perhaps in the next coming month. Um, so as you guys can see here, we have yellow set number one set number two red and set number three blue i'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you can tune into the color and whichever vibrational color that is calling towards you that is the one you're going to choose so i'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you guys can tune into the color see which one calls more towards you this is a pick a card reading and we will get into it so i'll give you guys a couple of minutes Okay, my lovelies, I hope you guys have made your choices. We're going to begin here with set number one. So I'm going to pull back set two and set three. Okay, red is set number two, blue is set number three, and we're going to start off here with set number one. All right, how are you guys doing, my lovelies? Hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, <clears throat> we call on all our wise and spirit guides, spirits of light and love. Ancestors and Archangels, please step forward. Allow me to see clearly and concisely the messages for each one of the colors that we have here. We're starting off with set number one, yellow. Let's tune into the yellow vibration. Give us the messages revealed to us. What is it that they need to know? What is it that they can expect? What is unfolding for them? All right, here we go. Set number one. Okay. Wow, beautiful energy here, set number one. So you guys have been working arduous towards something, putting a lot of effort, a lot of energy towards something. Uh, you guys are definitely going to be seeing the results, <coughs> the results of that. Um, and it's coming in perhaps where you felt like there's a little bit of stagnation or perhaps like you've been working really hard towards something and not really seeing the results. That's finally coming through for you guys. I see you guys much more empowered um i feel like there's some type of notoriety that's going to be uh, unfolding for you guys in the next coming weeks or in the next coming month but there is definitely an achievement here there is a feeling of overcoming uh, some type of obstacle some type of challenge um if you like i said if you've been working hard putting a lot of energy uh, at work for your business even relationships um, where you could have felt like things were not moving more freely, perhaps a bit of stagnant energy, like I said, you definitely start to see the rewards of that. There is definitely overcoming um, and the pace moving very quickly for you guys. Uh, those of you guys that chose set number one. Now, I do see here <coughs> there is... Communication, I see money coming in or money being offered. Um, for some of you guys, if this is in regards to finances and career, as an example, if you've been applying or trying to get a higher ranking position and it just hasn't came through for you, I feel like you're finally breaking through those obstacles. Um, and I feel like there is a bit of almost like recompensation that's coming through for you, but there is a feeling of having choices. So whatever this is, whatever it is that you're currently going through in your life, just know and understand that you're finally going to be able to reap the rewards and have almost an opportunity to make a choice or to choose between two things um, that both are great for you. But I feel like at this point, it's about really uh, knowing your worth and not selling yourself short. This could be in relationships. This could be um, in partnerships, this could be business, this could be career, whatever it is that they're speaking to you about at this point in time, 
Don't cut your, yourself too short. Um, if it's two opportunities that are coming through for you in regards to finances or career, if you feel like you're being drawn more towards one than the other, but you feel like they are not fully uh, offering you exactly what you were expecting, as an example, don't be scared or don't fear to speak up, <coughs> to speak up and to ask for the number exactly that you were looking for, because I do feel like they will definitely come through for you in this um, only because they do see that you're worth it. Like I said, don't cut yourself too short. Um, those of you guys that chose set number one, now I'm going to pull out some Oracle cards to see, give us a little bit more clarity in regards to the situation for those that chose set number one, give us a little more clarity, give us a little more clarity. Yeah, because I'm definitely feeling like you don't want to rush into making a decision, set number one. You want to really think about it. And like I said, if you feel like they're not very far from what you were expecting or you were wanting, do not be uh, do not be scared to speak up. Do not be scared to ask for exactly what it is that you want. It will. They will definitely come through. They will definitely offer you that. This could be in love as well. Um, you may have, you may have invested a lot of time and effort towards some type of connection, some type of relationship, and you just didn't really see the reciprocation or you didn't see that uh, they were wanting to progress this connection. For some of you, you could have started dealing with someone else, and it's almost like feeling a bit stuck because you're in between two different options here. But again, um, go for the one that you genuinely feel or that you want um but if it's something that as an example of what you're looking for is commitment and that's something that is very important to you uh, don't cut yourself short ask for exactly that or make sure to clarify that to the person of your interest um, because i feel like they definitely will um they're probably on the in the same page as you are okay here we go and we have cornucopia and adjusting possibilities. Oh, we pulled up two cards. Wonders and new beginnings. So yeah, I feel like things are going to uh, move up rather quickly for you guys. Cornucopia is the energy of opulence. It's the energy of abundance. It's the energy of having more than enough or receiving exactly what our wish was. It's finally our wish being fulfilled. Um don't cut yourself short we have this uh card here and it's almost like the sky's the limit for you guys right now at this point in time do not open or do not walk through the first door just because it's closer you know what i mean like go towards if you have to open all the doors open all the doors um to figure out exactly what is behind those doors and if it works best for you so I feel like for a lot of you guys, a lot of options, possibilities are endless for you guys at this point. And the reason for it is because you're going into a new cycle in your life where the universe is bringing to you guys a lot of new beginnings. Wonders is the representation card of, like I said, possibilities are endless for you. So again, don't cut yourself short. Um, fully embrace and take advantage of all these opportunities that are going to be coming your way very soon that's it for some of you guys if you're not already experiencing that okay my lovelies all right beautiful reading okay now we're going to go with set number two <clears throat> which is the red sachet. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Let's see what is coming through for those of you guys that set that chose set number two, the red sachet bag. Energy red, very intense, very passionate. Strong energy here, okay. What is it that they need to know at this point in time? What is unfolding for them? What is it that's coming to them? Give us clarity. Give us insight. Give us clarity. Give us insight. And I'm doing this very spontaneous. Whatever cards I feel 
the number of cards I feel I need to pull out, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, okay? All right, here we go. All right. First card here is the Empress. The Two of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. You guys are stressing or worrying about finances or about money. Um, for some of you guys, it could be struggling or you've been going through <coughs> a bit of um, imbalance when we're talking about finances, when we're talking about uh, career, when we're talking about the job, the everyday type of thing. Um, Empress is a very opulent energy. It's a very abundant energy. With the Two of Swords, it's not being able to see the abundance around you because obviously uh, humans have a tendency of being very present um, in the now, right? And, and you focus primarily on what's unfolding, what's happening in the right now. Um, and a lot of the times, that's not necessarily a good way of seeing things because <laughs> when you're struggling or where you're going through financial difficulty, um, you're so concerned to what's happening right now that uh, the focus on the lack of creates more lack. Mm -hmm. So again, I feel like there is this energy of abundance being around you. Empress is always having a lot of opportunities, um, having means or ways to make more money, to create more money. But being so stuck on the notion of what's happening right now, I'm struggling, I don't have enough for the bills, I'm focused or worried <coughs> about, you know, next month's rent, it's already coming up type of thing. And as you can see, we have the Empress right in the forward position, right, um, in the front. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles in the back of this Two of Swords. So I see abundance on both sides, on both spectrums, meaning in the past, present, the unfolding future. It is all there. So what you need to do is change your way of thinking. And this is definitely going to help if you do some type of meditation or some type of visualization exercises. The reason I say this is, again, Empress is opulence. It is the epitome of opulence. It is success. It is abundance. Um, Ace of Pentacles is money coming in. It's a new beginning, a new rush of energy, a new idea that is going to solidify and become something. Um, so you connect these two to the two of swords, not wanting to realize the power that you possess or the power that you have. So I feel like for a lot of you guys that chose set number two, sometime in the now to the folding future, meaning in the next coming month, there's going to be some type of realization in regards to really how powerful you are in manifesting. Um, and again, if you feel like you've overcame <coughs> an obstacle, a mental obstacle in regards to finances, perhaps you're learning to see things in a very different way. For some of you guys, it could be that you're awakening that aspect of yourself of knowing the power that you truly possess in manifesting. It's like you're very natural at it the moment that you really put yourself in that powerful position, right? In the powerful position of saying, I am no longer, uh, I am no longer a person of circumstance. I am the one that creates the situations and circumstances to benefit me in the future. Um, so there's some type of revelation that's happening here with you guys. Now, for others of you, it could be that you have experienced what it is to really struggle, to really go through difficulties or to not have enough. And you've been able to overcome that. And in overcoming that, it not only with hard work, but with determination and the, like I said, the the almost the realization of <coughs> the realization of the power that you truly possess when it comes to manifestation. So off the bat, what I can say is if you are struggling, look into visualizations, look into the law of attraction, look into quantum jumping, um, look into anything that has to do with manifestations because you are a powerful manifester, whether you're aware of it or not. All right. So uh, definitely, definitely strong energy here that's coming through um there is revelations uh, for some of you guys it could be even connecting with um past life experiences or perhaps past life regression uh for some of you and it's the reason why you start to tap into your natural gift abilities all right
Yeah, so there is a cycle, <coughs> a releasing cycle of struggle. Um, it is, like I said, really manifesting or putting yourself or propelling yourself towards the future with the very clear idea of what it is that you want. And again, like I said, I feel very strongly for a lot of you guys, it's an awakening that you may be experiencing. Um, although I don't have very highly spiritual cards here right now, um, with the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, a meditative state, being able to pull the physical or the material into this, um, into this earthly plane through the connection of, <coughs> through the connection of your mind. So again, uh, for some of you guys, it's an awakening for others of you guys really tapping into manifesting um, and really blowing your mind of how powerful or how natural you are in doing this. Um, it is the cutting of cords, the letting go of the past or past um, thought patterns mm -hmm. and fully surrounding yourself and even being around like-minded people that is going to restore the faith, but the faith in yourself. All right, beautiful energy here. Okay, give us the final <coughs> oracle messages here. For those that chose set number two, what are the final messages here? Final messages. All right, so we have victory. Powerful card here. It talks about Feeling victorious, feeling like you've overcame a lot of obstacles. I see you looking back to count your blessings or to see how far you've came. Um, and like I said, some of you guys, you may already be experiencing this. Um, it's it's an energy of feeling <coughs> feeling more powerful because you are becoming more self-aware of your capabilities door to value money coming in it is literally manifesting abundance and opulence and success um it is the understanding that you are what you think about and really taking a step back. I see you guys like looking back or looking towards moments of difficulty, moments of strife, moments of look, strength card. Looking at what you're accomplishing or what in your life is quickly moving in a very amazing way. It's almost like perfect timing and being able to fully see how far you've come or almost saying like, wow, this came at the perfect time. It's like perfect timing. And it's you really becoming more powerful, you becoming more you and stepping into your power. Amazing, amazing energy here, you guys, for those of you guys that chose set number two. All right, now we're going to go to set number All right, let's see what's going on with those of you guys that chose set number three, blue. <clears throat> give us clarity, give us insight, allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for those that chose set number three. Blue vibration. What is unfolding for those that chose <coughs> set number three? The vibration. Give us card. Give us insight. All right, here we go. We have the Hierophant, Two of Swords, and the Hanged Man. I see you guys really struggling with making decisions, um, and these are decisions that have been long overdue. Hierophant is <coughs> a very long journey where you felt stuck 
Um, for a lot of you guys, it is making a final decision is what I'm hearing. And this is affecting every single aspect of your life. For some of you guys, it could be a relationship that you've been holding on to that you haven't really wanted to accept um, that it's cost you a lot. And when I say cost you, I don't mean like money wise, although for some it could be that. What's coming through, it's almost like self-sacrificing too, too much of you, too many parts of you. And feeling lost and confused, feeling like things just don't make sense. For some of you guys, you may feel like you're so out of tune, you're so out of whack. Um, almost, I see you guys almost like walking kind of like zombies. Um, and that to me, when I feel that, it's <coughs> that's like a time to check with ourselves. Um, this could be not sleeping, this could be tossing and turning. <coughs> this is a lot of anxiousness for some of you guys. You may experience um, anxiety or some type of depression, and it has everything to do with your mind, um, with the not stopping. You know, it's the constant overthinking, the constant stressing, the constant feeling lost and confused, like your path is not making sense right now. But know and understand that it is it will be making sense to you because I feel like there is a culmination. There is a final decision that is going to be made here. You're going to be forced to see things for what they really are. With the Eight of Swords is finally being able to see, finally being able to see yourself, to see what you've sacrificed, to see, you know, this person that I am becoming, this person that, um, you know, for some of you guys, I don't even want to go out anymore. Um, I don't want to be around people. I don't want my family to know exactly what's going on. I don't want them to worry. It's like really isolating yourself. And the seven of cups is a lot of distractions or a lot of things happening all at once. And the hanged man is here to tell you it's time for you to really take a step back, take a deep breath and really take inventory of your life because whether you're ready or not, there is a shift that is happening and there is a decision to be made here whether you're ready or not to make that decision is irrelevant because i feel like whether you decide to make the decision or not the universe is shaking things up and the reason why they're doing that is because that decision can no longer wait you have to get in alignment with your purpose or get in alignment with your calling or get in alignment with your soul um, if, like I said, if you're feeling out of whack, if you feel like you are just walking on air, um, because you're just so exhausted, mentally exhausted, um, I feel like, you know, and sometimes the universe has a way of telling us, you know what, you're doing too much or you're not doing enough. And for those of you that <clears throat> have been experiencing, like I said, anxiety, depression, um, an overwhelming feeling of just exhaustion, right? Not just mentally, but physically as well. If you do not make these changes, like I said, the universe will pump your brakes and it will manifest for some of you guys, uh, health issues. Um, it will manifest for some of you guys in the aspect of, you know, um, just not being able to rid yourself of a headache or not being able to, uh, get out of bed um, and it's not something that that it's they're saying it's going to be like progressively um, it's going to be a while before you bounce back absolutely not what they're telling you is if we need to tell you <laughs> through your physical body that you are deteriorating we're going to do exactly that to the best of your benefit even if you have to if you feel like you don't want to do anything for a whole day and you want to stay in bed that's exactly what's going to happen because you need to recharge, okay? You need to take care of yourself, you guys. That decision is going to be made, like I said. So whether you're ready or not, there is a decision that's being made. For some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a situation where... Give me a second, you guys.
Sorry, you guys, I had to pause. <laughs> I'm giving my mom rides right now to work, so I have to pick her up. But anyways, like I was saying, um, yeah, there is a decision to be made. I feel like for some of you guys, it's a decision in regards to a relationship, a partnership. Um, for some of you guys, it could be, you know, dealing with third party type of situation as I do see two queens here. Um, and children may be involved and that could be the reason why you're trying to salvage or you're trying to work through a relationship. <clears throat> for others of you, um, it is learning to detach yourself from the emotional and learning to put yourself first. What I mean by detaching yourself from the emotional, a lot of the times our loyalty lies on people that obviously we love and care for, right? And sometimes um, we stay with them at the cost of what makes sense in our head because we are so emotionally invested. We are so emotionally in love with this person. Um, even though you're fully aware that your mind is telling you it's time to walk away. So again, like I said, whether you're ready or not, Pay a lot of attention. <clears throat> Pay a lot of attention because in the next coming days, in the next coming weeks, there are revelations that are going to be unfolding for you, pushing you. It's time. It's time. Stop asking God to give you signs. They are signs are everywhere. It's time you start paying attention. It's kind of like that metaphor I tell my clients, you know, um, we want to rush into doing, as an example, rush into doing spell work um, because we want the spell work to take care of the decision making that needs to happen within us. And it doesn't work that way. Um, you got to take ownership, ownership of your choices and decisions in life. All right. What are the final messages here? What are the final messages here for those? Okay, we have diligence. Again, <laughs> I'm sensing for a lot of you guys, there is information that's going to be coming through. Um, your next card here is adventures. Diligence is paying attention, being aware of what's going on. Um, adventures, you know, it's about, it's time for you to snap out of it. It's time for you to realign yourself, reconnect yourself with yourself. And we have the card attraction. For some of you guys holding on to a relationship because you've grown accustomed to it. For others of you, it could be that, you know, not necessarily accustomed, but for some of you guys, you're comfortable. For some of you guys, perhaps you lack, you know, self-confidence in yourself. There is something that you need to tune into yourself to figure out exactly what's going on within you um, to make sure that you're fully able to... Um, not only check with yourself, but make decisions to the best of your interest. What is best for you? Not what is best for my partner, not what is best for, you know, my kids. A lot of the times I hear this all the time, you guys, people telling me, well, I, I stuck around because I didn't want my kid to grow up without, you know, a mother, without a father. Yeah, but is that father or that mother... <clears throat> Are they, you know, raising them in a healthy environment? Because if all you do is scream and fight and argue, what good are you doing to your child? You're actually damaging your child because you're teaching them that toxicity is a way of love, a way to live. And they will connect that as they grow older and become adults. They connect toxicity to all oh, that equals love because that's what I had in my home. So you're doing a disservice to them. So don't ever sit there and use, you know, oh, because of kids. Don't ever use that as an excuse. Trust me when I say there are more, more homes out there that do so much damage to children for staying together instead of walking away from what's not working. And like I said, it doesn't have to be relationships. You could be dealing with this at work, toxic environment where you let people be pushing on you and you're a pushover. It's something, it's like I see it unfolding to a point of, you know, when a volcano is about to erupt, that's what's going to happen. Whether you're ready to make choices and decisions for your life or not, the universe will start to reveal to you, will start to show you. God will answer your signs or, you know, you pleading to get signs. God will give that to you. Whether you're ready or not, they're going to shake you so that you can take ownership and your power back to be able to decide what it is that you want moving forward 
whatever best suits you and what is best for you at this point in time. All right, my lovelies. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you do, don't forget to like, share, comment below, let me know, and I'll keep these videos coming for you guys. I want to wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.